Hey, what is going on? I'm LaPrenta Sampson and I help health conscious consumers remove toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're trying to figure out, is Arrowhead water bad for you? All right, so we're gonna dig into that and I want to share with you five things that you want to know about Arrowhead water so you can make the best decision for yourself, all right? Now, if you haven't seen my videos, if you haven't, it's your first time to the channel, you wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get more tips, tricks, and tactics to improve your overall wellness. All right, now, let's jump into it. Five things I wanna share with you about Arrowhead water and if it is actually bad for you, okay? Let's start with the first one, is that it's oxidizing. So let's check that out. So what I have here is an ORP meter. And ORP stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential, all right? And we use this to see how much oxidation our beverage is causing us as we consume it. You see, oxidation leads to inflammation, and those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. So we don't want to drink water that is oxidizing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this water. Oxidation comes from free radicals, and those free radicals can be found everywhere. They are found in the air that we breathe, they're in a lot of the acidic foods and the bad foods that we eat. It's in our cell phones, the technology, it's in the pollution, right? And they come in and they take away electrons, right? And that makes us, our cells, like, suffocate. Like, they can't push out waste, they can't take in nutrients, and so we want to consume as many antioxidants as we can. So once again, it's oxidizing us. And so you're gonna see it on this ORP meter right here that the number is a positive number. Let's take a look and see what we get here. Uh, yep, so we have a positive number right here, so, right? so it's showing 236. So that means it's oxidizing us, it's creating more aging, inflammation, which is any type of itis, and it leads to sickness, all right? But there is a water, just to let you know, this is electrolyzed reduced water, and it actually will show up negative, okay? So let's go ahead and check that out. What's that showing? Ooh, a negative 815, all right? So that is really strong as far as the antioxidants go, and it's really healthy, and that's the kind of water we should be drinking. So this is oxidizing. That's the first thing I want to share with you about this Arrowhead water. All right, so the second thing you need to know when it comes to finding out is Arrowhead water bad for you is it's alkalinity, right? So this is one of the things, if you've seen my channel before, I'm always testing, right? And so what I'm gonna use are pH drops, and these stand for potential hydrogen. Now if we see a red, or orange, or a yellow, that means it's acidic and it's actually eating the minerals and electrolytes that's in our body. However, if we see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means is alkaline for our body, and so keep our body in balance. So when those acidic things do come in, it kind of brings balance and keeps our blood in slightly alkaline state. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these drops in. And as you see, the Arrowhead water shows up at about an eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out with some acidity by blowing into it. And I just want to show you that it does, it's not horrible. Like there are other waters out there that are just straight acidic and then they try to mask it with inorganic minerals. Because this is natural mountain spring water, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So, as much as I blow into it and I can keep blowing into it, it's going to stay natural. So that means this is real, it's not fake, and it's actually going to keep that alkalinity. It's going to stay slightly there. It could actually, it probably ends up going to about neutral, right? So it's going to stay slightly above neutral. It's going to stay around that 8. And that's the same thing with our water here, right? If I blow into it, it's not going to change. So 
So the difference really comes down to, um, <laughs> as far as alkalinity goes, do you want to drink something that's pretty close to neutral? Or do you want to drink something that's more stronger when it comes to keeping your body in that alkaline state? All right, that's going to battle off that acidity. The fried foods and the pollution, the alcohol, all that stuff, you want to bounce that stuff off. And the stronger your alkalinity is of the things you're consuming, the better off you're going to be. All right? So I just want to keep that in mind with you. This is not bad as far as alkalinity, and it's natural, so it's not being artificially made. Okay, so that's number two I want to share with you. All right, item number three is superior hydration, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a tea bag to demonstrate the tea and if it's actually, or the water to see if it's actually able to hydrate us. Now, this is probably one of the most important things is if we're drinking water, we wanna make sure that we're actually hydrated when we're feeling thirsty. So I'm going to pour some of this water in. And as you can see, it's not really making tea. It should be able to make tea. And that's because the water molecule should be small enough to actually make the tea. It does take a little bit of dunking to do that, but it's just like all the other bottled waters where it takes what only maybe hydrates about five or 10%. All right, it barely makes tea. So you want your water to actually impact you at a cellular level. You don't want it to sit in your stomach and just sit there and then flush out with all the rest of your food. You should be able to pour your water like this and actually be able to have a strong tea, okay? Now think about this if you're taking medications or supplements, right? If you want to use just a little bit, right? Because normally you take water with our supplements and we use our water Look at that, it just dilutes it, right? It doesn't really do anything. However, with the right water, just a little bit, go ahead and pour it. Then it's gonna actually be much more impactful and it actually it's still looking better than the one we started with over here. All right, so I just want you to keep that in mind is that it lacks the ability to truly hydrate you. Um, this water maybe does five to 10%, which means you have to drink more, you have to buy more to really get the hydration that you need. Thing number four that I wanted to share with you is the fact of this, this plastic, all right? So, uh, ingredient you did not know was in this is the fact that the moment water gets added to this bottle, it gets sealed, it gets put in a warehouse, and then eventually gets put on a truck, it gets shipped out or flown out to the store, it sits in a warehouse there, and then sits on the shelf, and eventually we pick it up, right? That whole time, water is a scavenger and it's eating the plastic here, all right? It's eating the plastic in the bottle. That's why it's extra flimsy and that leads to a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. 75% of men and women who had breast cancer had too much xenoestrogen in their body. And so I just want you to keep that in mind when you're considering if Arrowhead water is bad for you, all right? So that is number four is the xenoestrogen. All right, the fifth and final thing about Arrowhead water is that on top of the oxidizing this, yeah, on top of the fact that's oxidizing, on top of the fact that's a little bit above neutral for alkalinity, its inability to hydrate the xenoestrogen that's in here, we're paying for it. We're paying for water that's ultimately making us sicker and that is actually not hydrating us. So why pay for it, okay? There's better waters out there you can pay for that actually do good for your health instead of actually harming it, all right? So all in all, those are the five things I wanted to share with you when it comes to Arrowhead water. So is it oxidizing? That's the first one, it's oxidizing. It's new, pretty much neutral when it comes to alkalinity, number two. Number three, it doesn't do that good of a job at actually hydrating you. Number four, we gotta worry about that xenoestrogen. The last thing we want to deal with is cancer. That leads to chemotherapy and radiation, all those other expensive forms of treatment that we don't want to go through, we don't want our family or uh, friends to have. And last but not least is we're paying for all that. So is it really bad for us? I would say it is. So if you want to learn more about waters that are good for you, highly recommend checking out my Facebook page because I have videos there that are too hot for YouTube and I want to share with you 
water that is actually great for your health. So make sure you check out the description below to check that out. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope you found something insightful in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.